Okay, this is uh, June 3rd at 8.45, 8.55 uh, p.m. Uh, this is the culmination of the driest day we've had so far uh, during this experiment. Uh, it has been sunny since this morning and clear all day. We previously recorded this morning and this afternoon that the um, humidity levels had fallen outside to the mid 50s, uh, 50 to 55 percent relative humidity. Uh, and I just wanted to take one last reading on uh, what we are, uh, what we have experienced as a as a very dry day. Obviously, sunny, clear, dry. Um, you know, and so we see that uh, as the temperature uh, is still um, outside about 60, it has dropped a few degrees from 65 or 70. It has dropped a little, and the humidity. Uh, outside has gone back up into the 60s. Um, in the living room, it's registering at 70% relative humidity, and in the bedroom, it's registering at 70% relative humidity, and that's at almost 9 p.m. Again, uh, June 3rd, um, we've taken three readings, and this is the last reading in the day, and we see that we hit a bottom low outside uh, of hu uh, relative humidity of uh, in the 50s but we see that it has gone up from there back in the mid 60s so that's as dry as it gets on a dry clear day a full dry clear day about 50 percent humidity which is uh, relatively comfortable uh, however the inside humidity never dropped below the mid 60s and it is back up to 70 and if we get any kind of overcast or rain as we did just a few days ago that humidity indoors will pop up to back towards closer to 80 75 80 uh, 80 percent relative humidity so now we have some facts in hand and uh, we have readings that we have taken on different days uh, we have had overcast days rainy days and extremely clear days we have had uh, different times of day, morning, afternoon, and evening. We've had some fluctuations and we've got some ranges. And now we have some, uh, some facts that we can um, analyze and we can come to a conclusion. And we will be uh, speculating on a conclusion in, uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching this experiment and thank you very much for your input. Bye-bye.